I had lots of great comments to my recent video on listening distance and trying out different listening distances, particularly if you have a problematic room. Issues with either balance, space, imaging, sound staging, whatever it happens to be. And I talked about trying to or experimenting with listening at different distances, including in the near field. And I realized that maybe I should have clarified a little bit one important thing is that you can, you can quickly and easily just move your listening position forward or back to get an idea of how the room acoustics is changing. But that's not going to be enough. You have to think about moving your listening distance significantly means that you have to go through the setup, the tweaking, the adjustment process of the speakers. Now you may find that listening in the near field, that having the speakers closer together than if you were listening at a longer distance may work better. You may also find that you have to adjust the toe in. You know, maybe the angle has to be more extreme for you to get good image focus. And obviously, if you have a subwoofer in play or it's a multi-channel system, you either have to go through the setup adjust your distances, adjust your levels again. And if you're using um, an auto setup or EQ room correction system like Odyssey or, or one of the others, obviously you have to now rerun that system with the measurement microphone in your new listening position. And that's really important. All that moving your listening chair closer or further away from your speakers is going to give you a quick idea without touching anything of really listening does the acoustics change if you've got a you know bass boom problem in the room has that lessened by moving a little bit closer because maybe you're not in you know in a peak node in the room but just keep that in mind that thinking that you can just you know change your position at will and don't have to worry about recalibrating, so to speak, your system, that, that's not the case. I hope that you try this out because I've run into many, many people over the years that have had very problematic rooms. Simply moving two or three feet, the listening position forward or back could make a huge difference. So, you know, try it out. Don't get frustrated with your room and your system. There are things you can do, and one of them is changing your listening position and trying it out. Thank you very much for the comments and questions because as you can see, it, it puts me thinking in a different direction than I did in, in some of the original videos. So thank you as always as well for watching.